Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I wanna thank everyone that does like watching and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen folks, there's a link to you down below. It has a link to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there, follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I talk back. Also down there as well as the links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages and turn on the notification bell so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Now with that said and done and put to the side, I'm going to talk to you folks today about the New York Jets' upcoming preseason game with the New York Giants, man. There's a lot to discuss here, a lot of things to talk about, and I think we're all excited because we're finally going to get to see all of our guys go out there and play together. Sella has come out, head coach of the New York Jets. Robert Sella came out and said, hey, look, he's going to allow all the starters to go out there and play. Now, in the past, he's definitely kind of been going back and forth on that, right? He said himself, certain days he wants to throw guys out there, then he doesn't, then he, uh, you know, he's just kind of hesitant to do certain things. But he said, listen, I'm done with that. I'm throwing all the guys out there. They're going to go out there and play. So now we get to see all the guys that we got in the draft, all the guys we got in free agency, these new pieces in play. And I'm excited about that uh, because, uh, you know, this is a much improved team and we're expecting definitely a jump, a step forward from what we saw last season, uh, the, the, the team that was put out there on the field last season. We want to see more this upcoming season. So some of the positions that I'm going to be looking at, some of the guys that are going to be battling, we're going to talk about. The first position group that I'm going to be looking at heavily that I'm going to be analyzing is the New York Jets offensive line. Whoa, we have made some changes, okay? We all know Makai Becton went down with that fractured kneecap. He's done for the season. We were able to grab Dwayne Brown and bring him in. I'm excited about that. He's a veteran guy, but I need to see him out there. I need to see what he's going to look like with the rest of these offensive line. Can they move in sync? Can this offensive line gel quickly with so many new pieces? And we also got some shuffling along the line as well with Vera Tucker moving to right guard, Fant moving from left tackle to right tackle. The last time we saw Fant at right tackle, he's not very good. <laughs> he's not very good, you know? He's going back over there to right tackle. Can he step up? Can he hold the fort there? Can he be a solid tackle, solid right tackle in this league? That's going to be a big question. Again, we got Lakeland Thomas in here too. Pro Bowl guard in the past, can he come here and be just as effective as he's been in the past? That's going to be huge because, again, if that line falters, we're going to have some issues because Zach Wilson, from all we know at this point, is probably going to miss some games going into the season. We'll see how many. Some people think he's going to come back week two, week three. I'm thinking maybe week four. We'll see, right? But until Zach comes back to this point, we have seen and we all pretty much know that Joe Flacco is going to be the starter. Well, guess what? Joe Flacco ain't Lamar Jackson. He ain't Michael Vick. He's not super athletic, speedy, fast, okay? If there's some pressure in his face, we're going to have big time issues, all right? So can they protect Joe Flacco, uh, you know, correctly is going to be big. And also, can the New York Jets offensive line push guys around and open up holes in the running game in this game too? Uh, listen, Carter, Hall, those, these are the backs, man. We're excited about we're excited about the New York Jets running game upcoming. We're running that that Shanahan offense. Same thing you see with the Niners. I've seen the Niners take undrafted rookie free agents and have them run for a ton of yards behind solid play calling and really good offensive line play. I want to see if this line is going to be able to open up holes so our guys can go out there and run wild. Also, want to see again, you know, Tevin Coleman is going to be out there veteran guy but one running back that i'm extremely excited about as well too is knight this guy knight has been making plays and we're not just talking about things that he's doing as a back where he's been running extremely hard there as a running back but also his return ability has really helped us too can he be a guy that pushes the new york jets and maybe keep four running backs it's going to be huge depending on how he's playing i'm telling you he's making it to the point where he's going to be an extremely tough cut if they have to because he's the guy that's making a push there so i want to see you know what those running backs look like as well and see what our running game's looking like i'm looking at these wide receivers too one of the guys i'm looking at is corey davis hey corey davis excited about corey davis last season i know fans were frustrated with him the drops the injury which missed a lot of time during the season uh for him and uh coming back this season He's looking like he's fully healed up, and he's been extremely impressive throughout OTAs, throughout you know our practices, our joint practices. 
I cannot wait to see him go out there with all the talk surrounding him. He's been making unbelievable leaping catches, juggling catches. This is the game where he this is where he starts to take those steps to show these fans, listen, I'm the real deal. Because there's a lot of fans that are doubting him and his ability. So I want to see what Corey Davis looks like under the bright lights being covered by some of those guys on Giants. Again, Giants got Jackson, they got a Dory Jackson, those guys. They got some guys that can cover. And I think Corey Davis, this is the first step to him letting everybody know, listen, I'm back and I'm better than ever. And when he's better than ever, boy, let me tell you something. This New York Jets offense, especially throwing the ball, is going to take a different step. Of course, we want to see Elijah Moore out there as well. We're excited about him going into the season. Garrett Wilson, who's been phenomenal this you know entire preseason, just been making all these crazy catches during practice too. He looks good. But I want to see what Mims looks like too. Mims, you want to get traded? Okay, no issues. I understand your frustration. I tell you what, you put it on tape, you put some big plays on tape, you go out there and show people, yo, I'm a real playmaker in this league, the phone will be ringing off the hook for Denzel Mims, which bodes well for you so that you can move on, but it's going to bode well for the New York Jets because we'll get solid capital back so that we can move on from you. So I want to see what Denzel Mims is going to do out there as well under, you know, surrounding all these, all this trade talk with him now and him requesting a trade. I want to see, you know, what he does in this game and how he responds too. Calvin Jackson Jr., Jeff Smith. These are two guys that are vying for positions here with the New York Jets. They're trying to make the roster. I want to see how these guys perform too. Jeff Smith has been very good in preseason, going out there, making his plays, making things look easy. And Calvin Jackson Jr. has been the talk, has been the talk on offense at that wide receiver position. He's a guy that is always prepared. He's been able to go out there and make plays as well just knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field within the offense. Also want to see what Lawrence Cager looks like, man. Lawrence Cager has been making plays all preseason. I would say that this is probably the best preseason that he's had here with the New York Jets. I know he's at tight end right now. We'll see if they keep him at tight end. A lot of people talking about them changing his designation and him coming back to being a wide receiver. We'll see because he's being lined up in so many different spots. But I want to see Lawrence Cager out there as well continue to go out there and make plays. He had a TD, I think like a 30-something yard TD catch against the Falcons. He looked really good. He's a big guy that just is unbelievably athletic and moves fast. So there's a lot of battle to be had as well at that wide receiver spot. And I want to see those guys that are trying to push to make that roster continue to do their thing. So now going over to the defense, some of the things I want to see, all our starters are going to be out there. I want to see this New York Jets defensive line, this defensive pass rush. I want to know if it's real. <laughs> I want to know if it's real, baby. Carl Lawson's going to be out there. Jermaine Johnson is going to be out there. I want to see if these guys can get some pressure on the Giants QB. I want to see it. I want to see them push and make, get some sacks, get some something. You know what I'm saying? Cause some havoc, cause some chaos. That's what I want to see because that's what we're all expecting from this line. Quentin Williams is going to be out there as well. I want to see disruption from him. And I also want to see if the New York Jets defensive line is going to be able to just kind of stifle the Giants running game. Again, I know there's going to be some vanilla stuff probably from the Giants offense, nothing too crazy. But I want to see if we're going to cause disruption in the running game because last year, Oh, baby, we were getting ran on like nobody's business. <laughs> we were getting ran on like nobody's business, and it was not good. Also, a guy like Jabari Zuniga, a guy, you know, we drafted, he's trying to push to make the roster as well. There's so many beasts there along the defensive line. He's got to continue to make plays in this game to kind of submit his, his, uh, his spot on this roster as well. And I also want to see Michael Clements. Michael Clements has been a guy that has really been making pushes, okay, this entire preseason all right he's just been in guys faces and you can tell when the press talks to him that he's extremely focused i want to see this guy continue to do that again he doesn't always get sacks but a lot of hurries a lot of pressures a lot of just absolutely being in the quarterback's vicinity constantly so i want to see him continue to do that in this game too another thing i want to see is the jet secondary as we all know if we've been watching these games there's been guys running around in the Jets secondary wide open, okay? From our game, you know, our first preseason game to the Falcons game. You watch that Falcons game, Pitts, first skirt. They were just running around wide open. Just ho-hum. I'm just out here by myself, guys. Don't mind me. <laughs> like, come on. We've got to shut that down, especially with all our starters being, you know, playing. I also think they're going to test Sauce. I want to see how he responds to that, too. 
rookie corner, a lot of people are going to go at him to see, hey, is this guy the real deal? So I want to see, you know, Sauce get tested too. Again, they got Galladay, they got Cardarius Tony. This guy's another good young wide receiver in this league. I want to see how Sauce kind of responds to them going after him because I think they will. Just a couple times, nothing too crazy, just a couple times, right? I also want to see how Bryce Hall responds to the bad game that he had last game. Can he rebound and get things together? Again, he gave up uh, a big bomb to Pitts. He gave up a touchdown. He had a, a bad penalty. It was just crazy, all right? He was great last year. Can he step up this season for us? Can he step up in this game and kind of rebound from that? So we're going to see Hall go out there, and I think he'll be okay. Uh, when you continue to look at the secondary as well, I'm looking at the safety position. I can't wait to see Whitehead, but I want to see a guy that's pushing to make the roster. Aston Davis, bruh, what are you going to do, bruh? Because let me tell you something, Ashton, I'm knocking at your dough. You hear that? I'm knocking at your dough. Bruh, if you don't do something, if you don't make some type of play, if you don't get off that milk carton that you on, my man Will Park's going to take your spot. And you're going to be up out of here. I'm keeping it all the way real. Especially, again, we got LaMarcus Joyner. We got Jordan Whitehead. We got Pinnock, who's been very solid for us at safety. Will Parks is making that play to be the guy that takes that other safety spot in this roster. And if you don't put something together, bro, you're going to be packing your bags and you're going to be out of here. I'm keeping it all the way real. So comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. What are some of the things that you're looking forward to seeing in this upcoming game, Jets, Giants? How do you feel about some of the guys that are looking to make this roster? Who are you looking at thinking, hey, you better have a solid performance or you can be out of here? So comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. Let's go back and forth. You folks have a good one. Peace.